It's week one of the 2022 season, and there's no love lost between these NFC North foes. It's the Packers and the Vikings just ahead on EA Sports. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium. The veteran kicker, Mason Crosby, set to do the honors here. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They're led out by last season's comeback player of the year in his third season now. It's Joe Burrow. They run with a big man in his seventh season. It's Derrick Henry. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And they go play action now. Burrow. Complete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Burrow looking to pass. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Here we go, here we go. Hey, we got to go score. Burrow going for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Now a first down carry by Jones. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now Rodgers. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. From 17 yards out. And the Packers are on the board here first in the season opener. Crosby with the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. This take it in at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Go. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down this. Start this game. 
He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get it going. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. A four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert by 20 there on third and one. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the dog ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Henry up the middle. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. The Vikings here hosting Green Bay in the season opener. And they've got one of those quirks in the schedule that is going to work in their favor. They play all three of their division home games in the first five weeks of the year. After Green Bay today, They'll host Detroit in week three and then Chicago in week five. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On one, right? They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there. Big play on fourth down. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. 43 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 0 ball game. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. So second and goal and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. And he'll get him. Touchdown, Minnesota. Derrick Henry taking it in for two yards out. And the Vikings are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That drive along with spanning 15 plays, and Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From the 10. Coming up tonight, the first Sunday night of the new season. And how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 820 Eastern. And tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. And it will put the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And, of course, what... 
On first and ten, here's Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The CD, we look at the Vikings' 2022 draft class, and they were one of the league's most active teams. All 10 of their picks were involved in a trade at some point. And in the end, it's a class that really was heavily focused on the defensive side of the football. And there's a new administration, new head coach of Minnesota. They drafted similarly to what we've seen over the past few years. First two picks in the secondary. Safety Lewis seen in the first round. Corner Andrew Brook Jr. in the second. And they added cornerback Caleb Evans in the fourth. And one other guy that I really like, the linebacker Brian Asamo out of Oklahoma in the third round. He can flat out run. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 go. seconds. So time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Stop. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two, shy of the third. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Again, it's Henry. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. The first round pick, Jair Alexander, making the tackle. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A toss right to Henry. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here we go, here we go. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Burrow will throw. He's got his man. It's taken in. Mark Andrews as the first half is winding down. And the Vikings have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before half for Rodgers. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we breach half. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. 
2021 wasn't quite the 11 touchdown outburst that we saw from Robert Tunyon the year prior. A torn ACL cost him half his season, and the Packers still believe he can be the impact player he was two years ago after his rehab. Pretty impactful play on that one, and it will move the chains. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Rodgers going to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to move it out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's taken on the 25. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They begin with Henry. And some space here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 135 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. They'll try the wide side with Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Here we go. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Turn, welcoming you back to Minneapolis. Here we go, here we go. Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Mark Andrews. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Vikings are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Joseph connects on the extra point. And it's now 21 to 7. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. This is taken just shy of the 10. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. Take over offensively. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now this one complete on the slant route. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Rodgers. And this one is incomplete. Giving big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. And he 
is going to have a Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Rodgers to throw once more. Throw caught by Raymond. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. From just shy of midfield, Rodgers. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll go right back to Tunyon. And he's going to get this down near the 25. First down now, but that clock rolling. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Working from the gun, Rodgers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. The quick slant caught. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And this is caught, so it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Crosby connects on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The clock showing 19 seconds to go. And this is going to be recovered by hand scene. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. here. We I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one.